Hello everyone, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to handle the tabs using Cypress. So let's begin. First, let's understand the scenario and then we will see how we can automate this particular tricky scenario. So for this tutorial, I'm going to Gmail about page and this is a Gmail about page and we need to scroll down to the bottom of this page and here you will find a different links like privacy terms and so on. So if I click on this product, it will open a new tab here. It will not load here in the same page. So if I click on this one, you will see it will open a new tab and here it shows the different details about their products. So this is the scenario and unfortunately the problem with the Cypress is that Cypress only controls or works on the active or the first tab, right? And if I try to automate something from here, it will not recognize and it will fail the Cypress scenario. And so what we can do if there's no direct support in Cypress, then how we can automate this kind of a scenario. So let me go here and let me click on inspect here and let me explain you here. So for example, if there is some link and if you find target equals to blank, then this means that this particular link will open into a new tab. So if I want to open this link into the same tab window, so what I'll do is that simply I will remove this attribute from here. So what I'll do is that I will remove this attribute from here and if I press enter and now if I click on this one because I have temporarily removed from here and if I now click on this products, it will reload in the same tab. You will see this. So you see this it reloaded into the same tab here. So this is the trick here and what we need to do is that we we need to remove this attribute tag from here which is target underscore blank we need to remove this one and then click on this link so that's how it will instead of opening into a new tab it will be opening into the same tab and then you can perform any task on this one so how we can do this let me go to video studio code here and let me create one new file i'm saying it as handling tabs.js and let me copy basic code of reference line from the previous script here and you know that we need to use a describe block and inside the describe block we need to provide the title handling tabs and then we need a callback function so function and the body of the function right and now the first thing is that we need to visit the website and uh, but we also need to create a test here so testing tabs and then again callback function and the body of the callback function here and now see why dot visit and here inside this one we need to provide the url so let me go here and let me copy this url and go back here and provide the url okay now save this one and let me also open the test runner so npx cypress open and meanwhile uh, what we need to do is that we need to click on this products button right because we need to go to this particular page and then after opening this page let's assume that we need to click on this learn more so first we will write without removing the attribute blank attribute target equals to blank before removing that we will simply go with the script and just like we do previous in our previous tutorials and we will see the error first and after that we will learn how we can remove this particular attribute so cypress runner is open here and now let me go here and 
so basically handling tabs so let me open this one it will open this particular web page and yes it's loading the page and the page is, is successfully loaded now what we need to do is that we need to go here and we need to click on this button so simply what i'll do is that let me go down here and go to products so let me copy this one from here go back to the studio code and here what i need to do is that i need to click on this one right and after that uh, once it will open this all products page i need to click on this one so let me inspect this one here and go to selectors hub and let me copy the relative CSS selector from here. So let me copy this one from here and let me go back here and provide this one. Uh, actually, cy dot get and inside the get actually we need to provide the selector and then again we need to click on this one. All right. So th th this is a simple test and I have executed this one and see it opened the new tab, right? On the first tab, it went here, click on this one, then it went here and let's see what happens. So if I go back to this main tab here, so you will see that trying out failure, expected to find this element but never found it so how can we solve this one and this is because of the tab thing here and now what i'll is i'll do is that i will just remove this target attribute which has a value blank and then it will work so for that what i need to do is that instead of here directly clicking on this one the first thing i need to do is that I need to use a method called invoke and here inside the invoke what we need to do we need to basically remove an attribute right so because this is an attribute so remove attribute ADTR and then what is the attribute this is basically the name of attribute so the name is basically a target so if i go here and show you here again and let me inspect this one so you will see that the target is basically a attribute right and we, what we need to do we need to remove this one so simply and so i'm getting this element right and i am invoking using an invoke method i am removing this attribute which is target and then clicking on it so what it will do is that it will open the page in the same tab instead of opening a new tab so let me save this one and run this one and see what happens so you see that it opened the tab in the same same tab and it's working fine now so that's how you can handle tabs in the Cypress, right? Because there's no direct support of handling the tabs in Cypress because Cypress is working on this active screen. This is an active screen, active tab, right? Cypress doesn't know about what is happening on other tabs. So the trick is that open the tab inside the main tab, like because we are trying to open the same page inside the same tab. This is what we had did. So that's how we can work uh, with the tabs in Cypress. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.